So we've been talking about getting an awning for the cruiser for quite some time. And if you have a Land Cruiser 100, you know that the factory roof rails on the OEM roof rack are really cheap and flimsy plastic. We had our Yakima rooftop box up there, so they were fine for that. But when we got the awning, we bought the OVS 270 Nomadic awning, and it's about 75 pounds. So the uh, factory rails weren't gonna cut it. I started doing some research on some roof racks, and if you know anything about aftermarket roof racks, you know that they are absolutely insanely expensive. And uh, yeah, I didn't wanna be spending that kind of money. I started searching around trying to find like a DIY or just a cheaper solution that could maybe even use the OEM roof rack as a base. And luckily, I Hate Mud, which is, if you don't know, the um, Land Cruiser specific forum on the internet. Lots of fantastic people there, uh, lots of great information there. And I stumbled across this user who had bought some 8020 aluminum bars for roof rails. So, I'll show you what they look like. So they come and it's just a, it looks like a Prinsu rack or you know, some of those aftermarket roof racks. Basically, all you have to do uh, is buy the stuff on their website. Uh, you can get it pre-cut to exactly how long you need it. And then you buy this hardware that goes, slides into these channels on the outside. And this allows you to attach it to the OEM roof rack. So I bought three of these. I think uh, total came out to around $150 and it was maybe $20 for shipping. Uh, and I bought these from tnuts.com. You heard me right, tnuts with a Z, T-N-U-T-Z.com. Yeah, I was a little sketched out by the website, but it is what it is. <laughs> uh, so, um, you know, I couldn't find any, I found some information online about this uh, on YouTube, but I didn't find much in the way of converting these to fit onto an OEM roof rack. So uh, I wanted to put together a video to show you exactly what that all looks like, um, show you a quick install. And uh, yeah, you can, uh, if you have a 100 series Land Cruiser, you can upgrade the, the OEM roof rack pretty cheaply. Uh, you know, you can buy a lot of these and basically have the exact same setup as you would with uh, an aftermarket style roof rack. Uh, certainly doesn't look as cool, I guess, but I mean, who cares, right? I'll, uh, I'll put my order list from the website down in the description. Um, don't be a fool like me uh, and make sure you order the correct length. Um, I needed 44 inch and uh, I accidentally put a fractional length on the order. So they came out, I think around 45, a little bit less than 45, like 44 and 13 sixteenths. Um, so thankfully my friend McKenna works at a van build shop. So she uh, graciously cut these down to size for me and now they fit great. Yeah, why don't we go uh, get this installed? Uh, just in case you were wondering, here's our awning. I've been sitting here for a week waiting for the uh, bars to get cut down but uh, these are the mounting brackets and uh, the unfortunate part of this is these lines don't line up super well on there I don't know if you can see that but uh, basically I can't put bolts through the outside to fit into into these channels so I think I'll just have to compromise and uh, kind of have this sit a little off center and just have a few bolts in there to uh, secure it down. But that's no big deal. So this is what the hardware ships as. These little triangle pieces. You take a bolt, slide it through, and this little, little fella here slides into the side channel or the top channel and then you can uh, bolt stuff down. So uh, I am gonna get some Loctite on all of these just to uh, make sure that this doesn't rattle loose while we're driving down the trail.
So let's do it. Just trying to make sure these are nice and even before I lock them down. So I don't have to uh, take them back off. All right, got it on there. If you are installing these, this is definitely not the way to do it. I was trying to save myself from having to hammer these all the way to the front. Uh, so I took a little magnet and grabbed the T-track bolt and kind of slid it into the rack and behind the bracket. It would have been much easier had I just put the nut on and then had a mallet to scoot it all the way to the front. All right, well, bars are installed. Now I've just got to mount the box and the awning. Yeah, again, make sure you're uh, getting the right length. I had to do a little bit of mallet work to get these in there. Overall, fairly easy. You don't have a lot of clearance, so don't expect to be putting much underneath the bar. But, I, uh, again, I found a solution for the Yakima box, which I will uh, share with you as well. All right, so this is a few days later, and I uh, finally have everything installed up on the roof. Um, I ran into some issues with the Yakima box. Originally, I thought I was going to have more clearance under the bars between the roof and the bars. Turns out I only have like maybe a quarter inch. So the feet of the Yakima that typically go around a roof rail, um, they just weren't going to fit. So what I did was I took the feet off and, um, I took some carriage bolts, ran some carriage bolts into the channels of the rails and ran those through the slots inside of the Yakima box, put a washer on, put a bolt, uh, nut onto the bolt. And, um, yeah, it's working super well. And it actually brought the box a little closer to the roof. So I think it might, uh, help with wind and stuff like that. Hopefully this whole video comes together pretty well. Um, I think it's a really easy solution, really cheap solution, and uh, it's great, especially if you have uh, an OEM rack with uh, slots that you can install these on because you're only spending maybe $200 uh, or maybe a little bit more um, if you want more bars. It's such a cheap, great way to get that modularity that a lot of aftermarket roof racks have and for a fraction of the price. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. If you liked it, if you made it all the way to the end, uh, sorry if this was a little jumpy or roundy because uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not very good at filming the uh, DIY stuff because i i'm in my own head thinking like how am i going to solve this problem and i forget to record but hopefully i did a good enough job to uh help you or inspire you to make your own roof rack um and if you do let me know uh what what are some of your roof rack solutions uh that aren't just you know um turnkey or you know ready to go solution i'm really curious to see what other people have yeah if you liked this video please give it a like uh hopefully it was helpful and uh we're gonna be getting back outside pretty soon here yeah i've been doing all kinds of stuff in the cruiser a bunch of small little projects just trying to get ready to go we've been pretty busy here the past month hopefully some snow camping coming up pretty soon and uh probably some trips out to the desert just to escape the inevitable Portland rain. Thanks for watching. Give us a like, consider subscribing, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.